Welcome back to Legacy of King Defiance. Surrender, Raziel. Abandon this petty rebellion. It was I who made you. Your life had played out, and in my grace, I spared you. You are my reaper of souls. You have no other purpose, no higher destiny. Just this. Accept your calling, Raziel. Let go of these vain hopes. Relinquish your will and feed. No. What do you profit from this defiance? There's some grim satisfaction in infuriating you. My patience is eternal, Raziel. How many eons can you bear to languish here? The wheel of fate must turn. All are redeemed in the cleansing agony of birth, death, and rebirth. This is the engine of life, the purifying rhythm of the universe to which all souls are irresistibly drawn. Yours is a necessary and noble function, Raziel. Enough of your sermonizing. Are you trying to bore me into submission? Why must this game go on? We both know what you are. You are no better than the vampires you so despise. A voracious parasite, cloaking its appetite in a shroud of righteousness. I refuse to do your work. I can see into your heart, Raziel. It is not your will, but cowardice that keeps you here. How so? You know what fate awaits you when you leave the underworld. That phantom weapon you bear is a constant reminder, isn't it? The sword is waiting for you out there somewhere, and you tarry so as not to meet it. I could not deny it. As long as I lingered here, defying my captor, I was able to postpone what I feared was my inevitable doom. To become the ravenous spirit imprisoned in the Reaver Blade. But that sentence was no worse than the stalemate I now endured. Better to face one's destiny than cower from it. Harvester of souls, I created you. And to this function, my angel of death, you will return. Enough. Yes, I submit. Very good. Indulge your hunger. Yes, embrace your calling, Raziel. You will find that just as defiance has its price, so obedience has its rewards. And submission is not always what it seems. As we can see, Raziel is stuck here with the origin of life, and, uh, well, suffice to say, there will be a lot of talking here, and in the meantime, the only things that I will ask you to pay attention to are the emoting by the way there's no high jump anymore uh, the emoting in voice acting of Tony J and Michael Bell and to the fact that Raziel's wings are now longer so they kind of um, to create the same effect as Kane's cape does Below me swirled an ominous-looking mist. I knew that if I fell, it would mean my peril. Yes, the mist is insta-death, and is the equivalent of water for Raziel, because, well, Kane has water, but Raziel is immune to water, so at least there's something in the spectral realm. Do you believe your worthiness is so easily proved? Your way is sealed until you have offered further evidence of your obedience. 
I must feed you before I depart this place. You must feed yourself, Raziel. The wheel must turn. Ah, now you understand. I love this subtle mockery of each other by these two. And this is an authentic experience of Legacy of Cain Defiance 101. And that is me confusing buttons. Keys. Because I remapped the keys and did not remember which one of them is the TK Blast. By the way, yes, the telekinetic force projector is now the TK Blast, identical to that of Kane. And, uh... Well... Really, when we started this Kane, I said where he is. But here, right now, all we know is that, that Raziel is stuck here with the origin of life. And that he wants out. may go, but remember, you are mine. You can no more escape from me than you can escape yourself. And now we will be entering the section that is uh, there to familiarize you with combat for Raziel. Spoiler, it's almost identical to that of Kane. <laughs> you want this room cleared of its vermin? If you wish to leave it. Your will be done. My good servant. So, Slua. I'm sorry, the Slua are back, and uh, Raziel's combat is almost identical to that of Kane. His only weapon is the Wraith Blade in both realms, and uh, well, the idea of the combat for Raziel is identical to that of Kane, but there is slightly dif a slight difference in animation, which results in a slight difference in timing and a slightly different feel. If Kane's combat is a bit more uh, ruthless and aggressive. Uh, Raziel's combat is, uh, I suppose, more finesse, if that were an adjective. And this screen here is for the gauge on the right. Spe Spectral Reaver. Material Reaver. The EXP gauge is uh, how you get the new combo attacks, like Cadaver's Laceration for Kane. Uh, and. It's technically possible to get it here as Raziel. However, in the Spectral Realm you get it a lot slower, you feel a lot slower and it will take hours. You see? Obedience brings prompt rewards. Where do you think you are going, little soul? What on earth is the Elder Squid talking about here? He literally just let me in here. And yes, I can. This section... By the way, yes, now Raziel can climb onto these things, onto these walls. In the Spectral Realm as well. Uh, and I completely lost my train of thought. Ah, everybody hates this section. I have no trouble with it ever at all. I don't miss a single jump. I don't... and I'm playing this on a keyboard, so... Yeah, sorry, I am in the minority here. <laughs> I've been 
endured your game long enough. escape had not been anticipated, or my benevolent master would not have expended such efforts to prevent me from going. And if my departure displeased him, then that was a victory, however small, for me. In the spectral realm, water is as thin as air, putting this opening far beyond my reach. But once I found my way into the physical world, I might be able to swim up there. By the way, speaking of that last jump in that sequence, uh, it's supposed to be completely counterintuitive because you clearly cannot make it as a, well, as a regular jump. But for some reason, it just clicked to me immediately that I want to jump there. This door would only open when fitted with an appropriate artifact. But to use such an object, I would first have to find a way back into the material realm. Spoiler, we are not finding our way into the material realm in this chapter. No, we are gonna have to wait until chapter 4 or chapter 2 for Raziel. And these are tentacles and they are obnoxious and they do nothing but irritate you. They are not threatening but they are annoying and usually when I get the chance, I will from now on, from now on, from now on, be running past them as often as I can. This is being done just for demonstration purposes. At last, I discovered a conduit into the material realm. I would finally escape the spirit world and take one step farther from my tormentor. <laughs> Did you think to receive the same favors after your rebellion as before? No, Raziel. I have no need for you to enter the physical world, so no conduit will be granted. You serve me adequately as a wraith, and a wraith you will remain. So, my restraints had not been removed, only loosened. I would not be held prisoner in the spectral realm. There had to be another way. And this is a massive pain for those who have not played the Soul Reaver games. And I do mean massive. As I emerged, I was granted a vision of what I would become if I did not escape the Spectral Realm. For these two were agents of my master, hunting the lost souls that struggled to escape the endless twilight of the underworld. Their name, if I remember correctly, although I might be wrong, their name is Archons. And yes, they are essentially the reavers of souls that hunt them. Raziel described them quite accurately. And they suck because they can suck your energy uh, in a manner similar to the way the revived vampires could do that in Soul Reaver 1. Also, they're hard to hit. Like, really hard. Like, screw them levels of hard. My master's plan for me was ominously clear. Like these mindless hunters, I existed only to fuel him with souls, siphoning their energy to feed him and his wheel of fate. I had to break these bonds, but I still possessed my own will. And we will do that. Next time, however, the Servant Stronghold, Kane. Thank you for joining me, I will see you next time. Goodbye.